This is going to be a supplement to the first video on the producing height map series. Uh, this one is uh, dealing with non-square terrain height maps. Uh, producing square height maps are simple enough. Um, everything's square, the dimensions are square for the terrain, the camera is dealing with that square terrain, and the uh, render settings are square. But um, what if you have something that's uh, not square, something that's a non-square rectangle? And I'll go ahead and produce an example of that. If I have a terrain that's 8 kilometers by 10 kilometers. Well, if I were to render it as the template is currently set up, what you would uh, wind up with is a height map in which the sides produce a clipping effect, as you'll see here. And there you, you begin to see it. And you, you don't want these clipped off values because you put that in a game engine, you're going to get this real cutoff, um, real deep cutoff at the end. You want the uh, you want the render to fit the height maps dimension exactly. So how do you go about doing that? Well, uh, it's pretty simple actually. Um, first thing you want to keep in mind is that your widest dimension is going to play as the the the, uh, the base value, the value for your your orthographic scale. So the, whatever the biggest value on the uh, among the x or y uh, axis here, it's going to play as the, uh, the orthographic scale for the camera. So if this is 10 kilometers, I'm going to keep it at here at 10 kilometers, 10,000 meters for the scale. Um, what you're going to need to change are the uh, render settings. And what you what you're going to need to do, you're going to have to have your render settings match proportionally to the dimensions of your terrain. So again, yeah, this is going to be your base value. Um, this is going to be the the 100 percent in this scenario. So you keep this um, this this uh, value here. You want you want here in this situation, we want a 4096 uh, terrain. So that our y value is going to stay as uh, 4096. What you're going to need to change is the x value of the render resolution to match proportionally with the x value to your terrain. Now, um, now we're dealing with proportions here. You're going to be dealing with percentages. So this is eight kilometers, and this is a 10 kilometers. So this is going to be 80 percent of this 100 percent. So what you're going to have to do, you're going to maybe have to pull out a calculator. Um, cloud calculator and um, 4096 minus 80% and there is your um, resolution that's what you're going to need because I'm going to show you right here right quick we'll do 7 on the number pad as you can see that that's that's what was producing the clipping before the camera is outside this, the range of your um, terrains uh, boundaries there. So if I enter this, you should see. Oh, and then here's a note note to uh, keep in mind is that you you're going to get some decimal points at times. Um, the resolution render uh, render resolution doesn't do uh, percentages, so it's going to do it doesn't do decimals, so it's going to round it off. And um, I'll just go ahead and enter that and see it rounded off to uh, to 32.77. Um, that's not an issue in most cases, but sometimes when you round it off, uh, I find if you zoom in enough, well, this is a good, not a good case, but sometimes um, it produces a, a pixel, you know, off, you have a, a pixel wide trim. So sometimes it's better to undercut it by one, you know, just re to round down rather than round up. Uh, so, uh, so now if we uh, render our terrain here and just give it a while as I'm rendering at 4k and there you can already begin to see that it's fitting there perfectly it's fitting more exactly of course uh, I'm aware that you know not everyone is a human calculator so just uh, you know you can go about it the exact way or you can go about it with the, the eyeballing it method you know just uh, you know, you can eyeball it and 
zoom in and kind of get it get it to fit. That's one way to get around it. If you don't want to do a lot of you know do any calculating, you just want to just want to um, do something real quick. Or um, you can use the method I just used. Uh, let, me, let me use another example here just to drive the, the um, point home. In fact, I'll just do it the other way this time. Just to, uh, so here I have a terrain that's 12 kilometers by 8 kilometers. I'll need to adjust my camera. Um, so I'm going to click on this camera here. Now my scale needs to match with the widest dimension of the uh, x or y axis here. So in this case it's 12 kilometers and I'm going to make that match 12 kilometers, 12,000 meters. Okay, but now our issue is with the resolution. That's what's going to that's what's going to uh, change the shape of the camera here. So I'm going to change this to the 100% in this case because again the widest value of our terrain is the 100%. And we need to make this match proportionally, this x value match proportionally to this uh, y value here. So what I'm going to do so I'm going to go. Actually, I'm going to use another uh, tool here. This here is called a percentage calculator. It's percentagecalculator.net. Uh, just I'm going to put in 12 and, dec and just decrease it to eight kilometers. And so there's the uh, there's a percentage. I'm going to copy that uh, difference there and. I'm going to paste it here. So what is negative? What is minus 33 percent of 4096? So I'm going to take this value. I'm going to just take my calculator here. 4096 minus. Oops, actually I have to erase the previous. 4096 minus. I'm going to paste that in, and there is the resolution of that. When I copy this and paste it, it should produce for me an exact, or more exact fit on the uh, y axis of the render. And there we go. And that's how you, oops, <laughs> that's how you uh, produce uh, non square resolutions for your non square terrains. Just got to render this just to drive the point home, and there you have it. Done square terrains. Well, there there is one more thing I, I can add here. Um, if you're using um, non square terrain, um, a, a particular size a lot, and you wanted to find your own custom um, um, scene here. It's not very difficult. Um, I'm just gonna first you're gonna do uh, I can get out of there. You're gonna start a new scene. You're gonna just uh, add a new scene here. I'm going to copy what we have here, and I'm gonna name this 496 by and what's the resolution here? 2744. 2744. Sure. And there you have your custom size, non square size. And if you look here, you'll have it there and it should be right there. And if you want to save this, you can you save it and that'll make and that'll be your new default height map template. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. If you don't, um, you just, if this is just a one-time thing or you don't want to save it as your default, just simply close the application. Okay.